Welcome to Tweety's Take. I've been covering Maricopa County and the proceedings there, but now we're going to be switching over to Fulton County in Georgia. The reason being that they are actually moving forward with plans for a forensic audit that are scheduled for April, so we're a couple of months out here. Well, I, it feels like a couple of months. Really, it's it's at the end of April, but too much time is passing by. It's a slow-moving process, but we need things to be known right now. Well, with this forensic audit, it's looking to be very, very similar to what happened in Antrim County, Michigan, which if, you, if you're not familiar with what happened there, there's a forensic audit that was done on the ballots for the election. However, the, the findings from that audit were basically redacted. You have a whole document stating what they found, but then when it comes to compromising details, proving, uh, proving, I guess, their conclusion, that information is heavily redacted. There's nothing on it. There are full pages that are just blacked out. It's very, very frustrating, but it was done so that they could keep everything confidential. It's as if there was no forensic audit done and we're stuck with nothing. Well, in, in uh, Fulton County, there was a judge who basically determined that they could do the audit as long as, get this, information was redacted. They, they, uh, they want no disinformation released is what they call it because they've been running with one narrative for so long that they're going to stick to what, what they have said. They don't want to do redaction. They don't want to have to come out and say the truth. Instead, they want to stick to their guns and, and just stick their face in the sand and say nothing to see here. Move along. So I don't believe anything will come forth from Fulton County, but it's interesting to see that judges are still allowing forensic audits to happen. It, it just is terrible that they're keeping everything in the dark and keeping the information between uh, the parties who are involved in the lawsuits. These lawsuits involve the American people. And that's where I take a huge issue with this is these lawsuits are not between those interested parties. The interested party is the American people. It's not one attorney or the other attorney. It's us. And we have a right to hear the results of any forensic audit that is done. What I have learned recently just from the actions that I've seen from these courts and also from the proceedings of the legislative bodies, I have learned that these people do not have our interests at heart. I have learned that the courts do not care who really, who, who this affects as long as their butts are protected, as long as they uh, are protected from the mob then it doesn't matter what the truth is and they will just rule how they want to so that they're protected. These people are interested in maintaining power. Yeah, I, I mean, it really comes down to that is they're just interested in maintaining power. If there's something that threatens that, then obviously they're going to push back against it. But this should all be a wake-up call if you haven't been woken up already to, to the awful state that we are in right now. So... Unfortunately, I don't believe anything is going to come from Fulton County. And from the way things are going in Maricopa County as well, I'm not sure if we're going to see anything come from that too. What we do see are people who are slow walking. They're rolling the ball lazily. It's as if you, you roll a bowling ball down, down the lane, but you'd bounce it back and forth between the bumpers on purpose and it just takes forever. Ever, and you see it go back and forth, back and forth. That's the process we're seeing right now. And in the end, the ball just goes into the gutter. Absolutely disappointing. But I bring this up not to get your hopes down or anything, but kind of to, to come to terms with what is happening. I think a lot of people are expecting justice. A lot of people are expecting things to fix themselves, to... to uh, for everything to be revealed. I see that a lot. I see a lot of people who are, who are, I don't know, it, there are some fringe things that I've been seeing. They talk about vibration of your soul. They talk about how this is the era of love and we're going to see things revealed like they never have been before. And, and um, it, it's very, 
interesting wording of things. But what I'm seeing is actually the the rapid decay of society and the rapid decay of people who believe in Christ and people who believe in God. And I think that is why we are in the situation we are in now. And that's why I believe that it's it's quite possible that nothing does come out. And instead, what happens is those who know the truth are going to be persecuted for what they know. And we're already seeing that. We're already seeing that anyone who talks about the election is seriously reprimanded, is taken off any platforms, is ridiculed by friends. I have personal experience with all of that. And unfortunately, that's where we're at. And that's the state of our country. But we can have hope that in the end, everything will be made right. Whether that's in mortality or after this life. And so my hope is not in this world, but it's in the hope of Christ. It's in the hope of my Redeemer and my Savior. And I hope that that we can remove ourselves from everything that's going on and say, what really matters? Should I really get up in arms about this? Should I become so mad and so angry that I'm willing to take up arms? Should I rile myself myself up in anger so much that I no longer feel the Spirit of God? Should I throw peace away from me? Should I throw away love for my fellow brethren? Should I throw away the teachings of Christ and check my religion at the door? Or should I never check my religion at the door? Should I never put away those principles and realize that we're all in, in this together, that whether or not proof comes out or not, we can be assured that we are all children of God. We are all in this world to learn and to grow. And it doesn't matter what comes from this, because in the end, our hope should be in Christ. So, I know it turned religious at the end here, but I, I just, I don't know. I see a lot of people who are depressed. I see a lot of people who, who are downright angry, who just want to kind of rid the world of a lot of people. And I think that is a very dangerous path for us to go on, no matter what side you're on. So I just wanted to share that today. But if anything good comes out of Fulton County, if anything good comes out of Maricopa County, you can be sure that I'm going to report on it. So I just saw that today, wanted it to bring it to your attention. I know it's in Georgia, uh, but you know all of this is related. So anyway, if you enjoyed this content, if you want to see more like this in the future, please like the video, spread it through the YouTube algorithm, share it with others, and also subscri subscribe to my channel so that you can see more of my content. Uh, as well, you can support me. Look to the description below and you'll find various avenues that you can do so through. Thank you for watching. My name is Addison Dweedy, and this has been Tweedy's Take, and I will see you next time. Yabashia.